down. I came down today. I came down. I came down today. To stand in solidarity with you. To stand in solidarity with you. Because one of the big problems. Because one of the big problems. In communities of color. In communities of color. Right here in New York City. Right here in New York City. And across this country. And across this country. Is the plague of air pollution. Is the plague of air pollution. It is literally. It is literally. Robbing, robbing the life, the life from our babies, from our babies, our seniors, our seniors, and our adults, and our adults with asthma, with asthma, and other respiratory, and other respiratory illnesses, illnesses. I should have put that together. <laughs> um, and one of the big contributors. And one of the big contributors to that air pollution, to that air pollution is the is <laughs> I gotta get used to this. I gotta get used to this. Is the air pollution coming out of the stacks? Coming out of the stacks of the many power plants. Of the many power plants that ring our communities. Our communities. And where are those power plants getting the fuel from? And where are those power plants getting the fuel from? That's for you. That's for you. Where are they getting that fuel from? Fossil fuel. Where are they getting that fuel from? Fossil fuel. Where? Fossil fuel. Right. And so, <laughs> we say that when you talk about fracking, we say that when you talk about fracking, you're creating a direct line. You're creating a direct line to harming the health. To harming the health of Harlem. Of Harlem. Washington Heights. Washington Heights. The Lower East Side. The Lower East Side. Sunset Park. Sunset Park. The South Bronx. The South Bronx. Jamaica Queens. Jamaica Queens. And places like that. And places like that. All across this country. All across this country. We say. We say that if we need more power. That if we need more power. There's a lot of offshore wind. There's a lot of offshore wind. We say. We say that if you want to create more jobs. That if you want to create more jobs. Look to Europe. Look to Europe. Where offshore wind. Where offshore wind has created sixty thousand jobs. Has created sixty thousand jobs. Good paying, good paying, clean energy producing, clean energy producing jobs, jobs that protect our health, that protect our health, secure our economy, secure our economy, and put an end to fossil fuel. And put an end to fossil fuel. We say, we say that if you want. If you want to secure this country, to secure this country from the climate crisis, from the climate crisis, now is the time. Now is the time to let some wind fields offshore of New York. To let some wind fields offshore of New York. Tell Governor Cuomo. Tell Governor Cuomo. Now's the time. Now's the time to stop fracking. To stop fracking and get more wind power. And get more wind power. Tell President Obama, tell President Obama that seven years, that seven years to get a lease, to get a lease to produce wind power, to produce wind power is stupid. Is stupid. And he's too smart for that. And he's too smart for that. Yeah. So now you see. So now you see why the environmental justice movement, why the environmental justice movement believes strongly, believes strongly in clean energy, in clean energy, and no fracking, and no fracking for our future. For our future. It's because it's because it's the answer to our health problems. It's the answer to our health problems.
It's the answer to our economic problems. It's the answer to our economic problems. And it's the solution to climate change. And it's the solution to climate change. We say, we say that if we are going to be a leader in this world, that if we are going to be a leader in this world, it's time to stop being behind Europe. It's time to stop being behind Europe. It's time to stop being behind China. It's time to stop being behind China. And it's time to lead with clean energy that protects health. And it's time to lead with clean energy that protects health. Thank you very much. Have a great march. All right. Give a big hand for Cecil when we are. Cecil. Cecil. Frack Wall Street, not our water. 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 All right. So, oh, I have one more thing to say. All right, say it, say it. <laughs> so, now that you've heard my message, now that you've heard my message, I have two things for you to do. I have two things for you to do. One. One. It's to call Governor Cuomo. It's to call Governor Cuomo. And tell him. And tell him. That we don't need fracking. That we don't need fracking. We need more offshore wind. We need more offshore wind. Second. Second. It's to call the United call. States Senate. Call the United States Senate. And tell. And tell. Our senators. Our senators. That. That. <laughs> The toxic chemical reform bill. The toxic chemical reform bill needs to be needs to be fixed. Fixed. So, so that the toxic chemicals that the toxic chemicals in fracking solutions in fracking solutions are not considered confidential business interests. Are not considered confidential business interests. Yeah. Those interests, those interests should never be put against, should never be put against, or above, or above the public health interests, the public health interests, the solutions to climate interests, the solutions to climate interests, or the jobs from good clean energy interests, or the jobs from good clean energy interests. So call the U.S. Senate, call the U.S. Senate. And call Governor Cuomo. And call Governor Cuomo. That's your homework. <laughs>